Let's check out the Notice Sector GMT. Now, you should have seen the Notice Sector GMT out in the wild or in the YouTubes or somewhere, or even on my channel already before, but this one is a special one. This is a limited edition Red Bar Atlanta model that was done in collaboration and also in support for the Atlanta Community Food Bank, the ACFB. So every person that bought one of these at the Red Bar in Atlanta also included a $50 donation to the food bank. And then on top of that, the proof number 00 of 50 is going to be auctioned off, or depending on when you watch this, may have already been auctioned off with the entirety of the proceeds going as a donation to the ACFB. So a very cool charitable thing they're doing and a very good looking watch to boot. So let's get into the watch. This is, of course, the sector. It's 38 millimeter wide, 46.7 lug to lug. You can see excellent finishing on this, drilled lugs, nice case profile, and really good finishing done on this one for sure. It is only 12.6 millimeter thick. It has 20 millimeter lug width and the bracelet, H-Link bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeter. You have their Nodex fold over clasp with a toolless on the fly adjustment availability. So very easy to do. You get a special case back with this one. So this one's still stickered up, it's brand new. It's, it's not mine, it's going back to the owner. So, uh, Kind of collectible, but, uh, you know, it also is, you know, a relatively affordable watch. I think it's around that $500 price point. So you could just wear it, you know what I mean? It's just a, a really cool colorway that Notice did with the Red Bar of Atlanta. So, oh, I forgot to mention, 7.5 millimeter screw down crown. And it should be 200 meter water resist, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. It might be 150, 200. Inside is the Seiko NH34. GMT. So you unscrew it, you get a nice little pop to the crown. You can wind it in this position. And then in the first position, you can adjust the uh, GMT or the uh, uh, date. But if you just want to adjust the time, you just go all the way out with it and you can adjust that real quick. Push the crown in, get it uh, lined up with the threads, screw that down. And then you have that nice, bold, stark white Seconds hand sweeping there. So you can look at the dial there. You have that shorter GMT hand pointing at that inner chapter uh, with the 24 hour register. And then you have that AM and PM outside chapter there with kind of a white off white with a red on the bottom, tying all the colors in together. And then, of course, the date at the six o'clock position. Now, I don't know if it came with this or if this was added by the, the gentleman that purchased it, but the Notice strap also has uh, been sent to me with this watch. And it is Horween leather. It is super, super good quality. So, And I believe you can buy these independently, these straps. If you're looking for really good quality straps, you can get them at Notice. Like, they sell really good straps. So maybe check that out even if you're not picking up one of the watches. But if you're picking up one of the watches, please let Wes and Cullen and the crew over at Notice, let them know that I sent you. Because it, it just helps the channel, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, my videos, if it helped you uh, decide on purchasing whatever watch, whatever brand, um, you know, let people know. So then they know where their, um, I don't want to say advertising dollars go, but where their attention should go to what, you know, channel they should support. Because I support them, they should support me. Anyway, enough ramble about that. Let's pop this guy on wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It does have quick release spring bars too, like the little uh, two prongers there. You can just kind of pinch it. You don't need any tools for pretty much anything on this watch. There it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Wears great. And being that it's a 38 by 46.7, you could have a lot smaller wrist and still pull this off. No problem. You know, down in to the mid six range, six and a half inch wrist. No problem. Maybe even smaller than that. Because the uh, solid end links on the bracelet also don't protrude out past the case. They fold over immediately. So that is a, a key thing to look at if you have a smaller wrist or you just want a more comfortable bracelet to watch, you know, configuration. That is, in my opinion, a very important thing. Let's give this a quick blast with the UV light. Kill the studio light so you can see 
how good the loom is. There you go. There's a quick look at the loom. Plenty bright enough, as you would expect from most micro brands, including Notice. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid.